back to the Jacob Kersey program. I am Jacob Kersey. Thank you for tuning in once again tonight. We are moving right along here at the beginning of the new year. It's just flying by us. I think I I say that all the time about everything. Uh, the end of the year was swiftly coming upon us. Christmas swiftly disappeared. New Year's is running away from us. So I'm always exaggerating things. For some of you, it might... <laughs> might be a slow opening to this brand new year. Uh, but we are here once again tonight, and thank you, like I said, for tuning in. Uh, for those of you that listen to the program regularly, uh, the guest I have on tonight is no stranger. He's been on the program, I think this is his third time. <laughs> He'll probably be on again, no doubt. Um, so I, I'm excited to have him on, as always. But uh, just an, introdu- an introduction to refresh your memory or... Um, those of you that are listening for the first time to an episode like this, just an introduction. Uh, Kenny is a 15-year-old musician. Uh, I, I believe he's still 15. I don't know if he's had a birthday recently. <laughs> but uh, based in upstate New York, his original music falls into a wide variety of genres, including rock, blues, and pop. So he hits everything. I don't I don't think he hits country, but we're going to have to talk about that. <laughs> uh, Kennedy... Uh, Kenny is widely known for his guitar playing and tasteful solos. His first original song was written with his siblings to raise money for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society and received over 2 million views. Uh, Kenny is constantly releasing new music, and his music is available worldwide on your favorite streaming service. You can follow Kenny's journey on social media sites such as Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and we'll talk about uh, the links and stuff at the end of the program. So without further ado, uh, Kenny, welcome back to the program. Hey, Jacob. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. I appreciate you being willing to come on. And you have a new song, and I was quite impressed uh, by this new song. I mean, your music is just getting better and better, and <laughs> quite honestly, I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, nice. But uh, yeah, th- this n- n- the new music you've had out recently, uh, you know, Summer Nights and now Solid Ground, just great music, and your other songs are great too. Um, but you're you're doing a great job, and um, I just want to compliment you on your new song. And hopefully, my audience has had a chance to hear it. If not, they get to hear it again. So, uh, which is great either way. Either you get to hear it again and you love it even more, or you get to hear it for the first time and you go and listen to it over and over again until it's the number one listened to song by Kenny Kikati fans. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's start out talking about the new song, Solid Ground featuring Madison Barrick. Now, we tried to have her on, but uh, schedule just did not allow for that, so she is not on the program tonight. But we have Kenny here, uh, so he will tell us about the song. So, Kenny, can you tell my audience about the song, Solid Ground? Yeah, so uh, Solid Ground is mainly a positive, uplifting song. Um, and it's kind of just saying to stand your ground. And um, one of one of my favorite lines from the song is uh, "Wear your scars like a crown." Um, I think that's that's a pretty cool line. Um, and yeah, it's just mainly positivity and um, standing your ground and uh, not giving up. Mm-hmm. So, what was the um, overall feedback when you released the song? How were people reacting to it? Oh, very very good feedback. Um, everyone loved it. Um, it was kind of different for, uh, for, for my kind of music. Um, I don't usually use electronic drums, um, with the kind of like hip hop vein, but, um, we decided to try something new and, uh, it, it seems to be working out well. Uh, I'm probably going to do that kind of music a lot more in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, with the, uh, soloist that Madison, she just did a great job and, uh, the music, kind of complimented her voice and I, I know it is a new style for you uh, you know you've been doing a lot of rock style music and, and you do some pop like you mentioned and blues and such but uh, you know just I, I, I guess probably one of your biggest pop songs that you sort of pop songs that you've uh, released so far yeah um yeah, I mean, Solid Ground is like it's it's been reaching a lot of new people, and uh, we've been gaining a lot of new, a lot of new fans from this. Uh, it's it's kind of a broadening of our experience. Mm-hmm. So, what was it like recording the song? 
So, um, so Madison lives in Texas. So uh, it was kind of tricky to coordinate how to um, how to get it done. So um, my friend Kane and I, we we write songs together, and uh, so we had the song completely ready, and we had it done in uh, in my bedroom. And then we moved into the studio, and Madison flew in to visit, and we're like, well, while you're here, would you like to sing on a song? So she agreed, and um, she did a heck of a job. Uh, she knocked out her vocal part in, like, I don't know, less than an hour. So it was very impressive. Yeah. Um, and she, like I've said before, she just has a great voice. And when you mix a great voice in with great guitar playing and great music in general – behind it you know you just have a new hit and um you guys did a great job on that song so how did you meet madison um so madison and i had been going to school together for um that which used to live here in new york um and through elementary school we went to school together um and then unfortunately she moved to uh to texas but um yeah we've always stayed in touch and we've been good friends so um yeah and i've always known she has a beautiful voice so I mean, it's such a pleasure to be able to have her on on new songs, and she's going to be on more songs in the future. Mm -hmm. When did you find out she could sing? Ooh, I've known that she could, she's been a wonderful singer for as long as I've known her. Um, she's always been in musicals and um, and just always singing. And uh, I can remember from even back in elementary school days, she had a fantastic voice. Mm -hmm. And. Uh... Someone asked me to ask you this, and I'm rephrasing the question here, but uh, when did you find out you could play the guitar? Uh, so I started taking lessons when I was eight, and mm -hmm. uh, just been slowly getting better. And uh, now I'm 15, and uh, I love playing the guitar. Yeah, and you're great at it, man. Um, Thank you. Uh, what was the first song you ever published? Because, you know, there's just so many songs out there. I don't know if this is a question I've asked before. We've talked about different songs of yours, but what was the first song you ever published? So the first song that I ever published, uh, I wrote it with my, my two siblings, my younger siblings, and it was called Some Days Today. And uh, we, we have a band, the three of us, and um, it was to raise money to battle cancer. And we ended up raising 60 grand um, for an organization called LLS. And that was a crazy experience. We did gigs all over upstate New York. And um, it just felt really good to be to be working for uh, toward a good cause, charity. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I mentioned that at the beginning in the introduction, and so just confirming that that was the first song you've uh, published. Um, yeah. Can people still listen to that song? Yeah, it's uh, it's under the artist uh, Kikadi Three. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sort of the band. Yes. Okay. Um, are are you three still doing a lot of work there uh, with the band? Um, we released a song since then called Everything's Alright, and uh, since then we haven't released any, any new music, but um, we, we continue to, to play gigs and play fundraisers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, that's a little bit you know, about uh, your history, Madison's history, and how you two met up for this song. And, of course, I don't want to repeat all the questions – <laughs> that I've asked before because uh, that's why we had the other interviews. So if you want to go check out um, the other interviews with Kenny Katie, you can learn more about him. And we, we've asked pretty cool questions. Um, we, I asked him what his favorite movie was. I asked him who he was inspired by. I asked him if he prefers cat or a dog. So we did a great this or that series, I believe, in the last episode. So all of that's available on the other episodes if you want to go check that out. Um. Kenny, what do you say we let the audience hear your new song? I think it's a great idea. All right, so that's what we're going to do coming up next on the Jacob Crazy program. This is Solid Ground with Kenny Katie featuring Madison Barak. Hey, you want to knock me down? I'm standing on solid ground. Both feet planted firmly. Wear scars like a crown. Not everything is as it seems I'm chasing my dreams And I know, and I know I 
So that was Solid Ground uh, with Kenny, Katie, and Madison Barrick. I, I pronounced it wrong going out, <laughs> if any of you noticed, so I apologize. Um, but, uh, yeah, that you know, just a great song, and um, if you want to go listen, it's available on YouTube. It's available on Spotify, um, all these different platforms, and Kenny can tell you more about where all his music is located. You know, so you don't have any questions. Those are the two I know that it's on because those are the two I use. You know a little bit more about Jacob Kersey now. <laughs> All right, Kenny, uh, that that kind of wraps up what we have tonight. I know this interview's short, but you know, just the way things are tonight, we kind of have to keep it short. Anything you want to say before we go? Um, well, I would appreciate anyone giving my song a listen. Um, I think Madison has a fantastic voice, and she really killed it on this song. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, actually, uh, a little, um, let's see, what's, what, what would I say, exclusive um, that no one really knows about is we're considering releasing a version of the song with a verse about Kanye West. Oh, Yes. So that may or may not come out. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, never know. You heard it never here. Never know. You heard it here. Heard it here first. Yeah. So, you know, that's something. You, jot it down so you can say I was the first one to know. Um, and we also have something else we want to give a real quick sneak peek to. Um, Gen Z perspective. What is that? So um, we decided to, to create a new show that's going to be mainly on Instagram, actually. And uh, it's going to be like one to three minutes per episode. And it's called Gen Z Perspective. And it's mainly going to outline, um, like, just positivity. Um, and no one covers our generation, Generation Z. Um, like, no one really focuses on that. And, I mean, I think it's going to be a really cool show. I've already gotten interviews with Brandon Tatum, um, uh, big Instagram accounts like the typical liberal um, DC Drano um, and other large social media influencers, uh, Anna Polina, um and yeah, I mean it's going to be really really cool, and that's going to be coming out in probably probably next week. The the first episode will come out, awesome. and uh, yeah, it just kind of it's pro America, it's pro thinking for yourself, and. Yeah, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see it. And, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, go check it out. Gen Z Perspective. They're on Instagram. I follow them, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I I love listening to other young people who have podcasts, um, and they just surprise me with the skill uh, these guys have. So I'm, I, And I know you're great at the guitar, so and you're great with the interviews, so I imagine you'll be great Thank hosting you. your show. Um, thank you, Kenny, for coming on tonight. Um, tell my audience where they can connect with you, social media, online, um, different platforms your music's on. Tell my audience about that. Yeah, so um, my website is kennykakady.com, um, and then my Instagram is kenny.kakady, uh, K-E-N-N-Y dot K-A-K-A-T-Y. And, um, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Um, I think it's Patriot Musician. Um I'm on Facebook too. Uh, if, if you just type in my name, any of them should come up. Um, yeah. All right, uh, Kenny. How would you feel if we played another song for the audience, and we'll close it out right as soon as the song's done, uh, so you can get back to what you're doing. Uh, I was thinking maybe summer nights. Let people listen to okay. summer nights. All right. So uh, as we're leaving the program, instead of hearing my boring intros and outros, <laughs> I'll let you hear summer nights. Um, Thank you, Kenny, once again. Make sure you go check out all his stuff. Summer Nights, uh, Kenny Kikati. The family's in the car On our way to camp Standing by the fire Hold hands and we can dance Singing the words to these songs Loud as we can In marshmallows, Joey just fell down again. Bella's doing somersaults, kicking up all the sand, singing the words to these songs as loud as we can. In the summer nights, running through that summer breeze, if this is all that's left of the world, that's okay with me. Cast out the fishing line, got the bait, let's reel them in. Burgers and dogs on the grill, munch them down, it's time to swim. Singing the words to these songs as loud as we can. In those summer nights, running through that summer breeze, if this is all that's left of the world, that's okay with me.
it in These are the times to cherish Hope and pray they never end Singing the words to these songs Loud as I can I can Oh, life has its ups and downs Round and round it spins and spins The best days of our lives When something ends you laugh again We'll sing all these words to these songs Is loud This is all that's left of the world That's okay with me That's okay with me That's okay with me My left was...